Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to Doom 3 BFG Edition on the Xbox 360. As usual, my name is Mike, otherwise known as the Gadget Addicts, and you join me, we are just about to walk into Alpha Labs. I have no idea what fresh hell awaits us in here. Find the personal elevator that leads to Alpha Labs Level 2. Oh, well this place looks fun, doesn't it? I really hope you're enjoying this series, and if you are, please do make sure to leave a like and subscribe when you watch this video through. It is always muchly appreciated, but never expected. Right. Oh, there we go. Hey, buddy. Die, buddy. Now, where's the next one? There you are. Oh, and a fat boy as well. How come being fat gives him a stronger head? Right, any more? For any more? Yes, there is another one around somewhere. Can the battery recharge? Die, buddy. One more. There's some armor there. Unlock. Primary lights on. That would have made fighting them much easier. The UAC takes pride in its safety record. Really, does Please it? Please follow UAC procedures. I think that UAC safety procedures have kind of taken a bath here, really. Shells. Anything else? No. Health station, I'm full on health. Right, okay. Haha, <laughs> before he got a chance to shoot me, I shot him. Get you. Oh, fuck, missed you. Stop shooting me, damn it! Let me shoot you first. What we got there? Is that clips? fuck is that beeping? Right. Okay, right. I'm going to heal up in the healing station. Just because... You know, you'd think having armor would reduce the amount of health damage you actually take. But it seems that you take... The same amount of health damage, just reduced armor damage. Right, he's dead. What's all that fucking beeping about? Ah! Fuck you, buddy! God damn it! For generations, human has lived under the looming right, come on. Of Stop it! Resources. Our new ventures on planets like Mars have only intensified our need right, to hang on. Heal back up. Yeah, I'm gonna let the propaganda tape do its thing. Ah, I'm taking disproportionate amounts of damage here. Where did he come from? Fuck's sake. Human race. Mars itself is our chief nice. ally and the key to our solution. Yeah, yeah, fuck you with your solution. Well, that does not look like the way to go. Destabilizes the atomic structure of pulverized iron oxide and separates it into subatomic How do we get through there? Like what alchemists the of old, the elemental phase oh, shut up. allows us to spread um, fresh water and now where the fuck am I supposed to go then? I can't go that way. Not without taking damage anyway. And this is only Thank you for the med kit there. Research. Hmm. We envision creating ever more complex molecules. Have I missed a door somewhere? I must have missed a door. Or something I can interact with. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Well, fuck you, physics. Huh? I kind of get up there. Can't interact with that. Of course, I can jump through there, you dickhead. Fuck you! Alright. Okay. Of course, it was just a case of walking through the biggest fucking window and I tried the two smallest ones. Oh, 
Oh, what the fuck's going on? What the hell? Wah! Right, okay, okay, okay. Reload, reload. Are there any more beasties out there? Waiting for a fresh dose of shotgun. No, there's something under there, though. Yes, things. Shells and a medkit. I have a feeling if I walk into that laser beam, I will simply die. Alpha Lab's just restricted access to it. Do I have anything? Oh. oh. Video disc. Uh, right, so, one videos. For generations. Humankind has lived under the looming specter of slowly dwindling natural resources. Our new ventures on planets like Mars have only intensified our need to find fresh sources for metals, petrochemicals, food, water, and even air. To meet that need, UAC researchers have developed dramatic solutions. Solutions that will soon pay off for the UAC, its investors, and indeed the entire human race. Mars itself is our chief ally and the key to our solution. Look around at its vast red deserts, rich in naturally occurring iron oxides. They are the raw materials of our future. We have developed a process that destabilizes the atomic structure of pulverized iron oxide and separates it into subatomic particles, which are then siphoned off to create new elements. Like alchemists of old, the elemental phase deconstructor allows us to transform red Martian soil into clean air, fresh water, and hydrogen fuel, the building blocks for a sustainable, human-friendly Martian environment. And this is only the beginning. With continued research, we envision creating ever more complex molecules, even organic matter itself. Atom by atom, the UAC is building an ever brighter future for humankind. Yeah, that still doesn't sound like it'll go well. A right, cow burger. Uh, right. EPD Audio accent. Audio log for Kyle Berger, research supervisor for the EPD project. Uh, the, uh, the elemental phase deconstructor is fully operational, and the research data we have gathered so far is very impressive. Unfortunately, we had a terrible accident last week. Research assistant Patterson was calibrating one of the core committers in the chamber, and witnesses say he appeared to see something. It was like uh, something was talking to him, and uh, he backed right into the particle beam. It was not a pretty sight, as it took off the backside of his head. He lived a few minutes, although I'm not sure you consider that living. But they say his eyes rolled back and forth, and he was trying to talk, although losing that much brain matter, I'm sure it was just reflex actions. Anyway, due to this, I have enacted new safety protocols in the lab, and we have stocked one of the storage cabinets with emergency medical supplies. The code for the cabinet is 752. End of the Okay, so 752. Excellent. Excellent indeed. Right, okay, so that gives you a little bit of a background of just what crazy shit's going on down here. Warning. EPD laser active. Oh. Alright, let's get him from a distance. Right, okay, so the laser's active and I can't actually turn that off, so I have to run down that chamber. Alright, uh, that's a minigun. Get my shotgun back. Okay, so I need to use the audio clues. Who's saying help me? Alright. Oh. There we go. Fuck you! Right, is there another one around? You creepy scientist man. Okay. 
This shit is fucking noisy. No, I would have thought there'd be somebody ready to jump out there. Um, okay. Oh, there we go. Right. Power outage. Battery reserve on. Back up your files. Backing up files. Shutting down. Okay, what did that give me? Did that shut down the fucking laser after I walked past it? I hide fucking medkits in the weirdest of places. Don't you fucking dodge straight into my field of view without expecting to get shot. Oh shit. Is that Petruga? Alright. You. Oh shit. Alright. You're down. Gonna reload. Fat boy ahead! I thought there'd be a like, maximum weight limit for those in, in fucking space. Oh well, Mars anyway, they're technically in space. Uh, can I hear someone else walking? No. Right. Right, okay, well I can't go in there. <laughs> it's not yet anyway. Alright. What have we got in here? Right, come on. Fuck off. Oh shit! Where the hell did you come from? Take your head off. Whoa! Ooh. Ellie Brown trousers time there. What the hell's that banging? Is that some new kind of beastie for me to deal with? Over there. Okay, up the stairs we go. Ow! They do a lot of fucking damage, actually, when they catch you. Right. Seal breach pipe section. Gas leak stopped. Fire extinguished. Right, okay. What did I get there? I got into someone else's PDA. I got Jack Smith. Audio log for Jack Smith, a benefits analyst in HR 1024-2145. I just went through another batch of accident reports from the science team. We've had five more people hurt this week while working with the equipment. The most serious incident was one John Hughes, whose hand was caught in one of the plastic extrusion systems. He was performing maintenance on it and states that he unplugged it and had the safety key in his pocket. It managed to activate without an apparent power source and uh, shredded his arm up to the elbow before someone got him out. It's been reported that the uh, machine is still running and we can't shut it down. The cost on that incident alone is enough to raise the red flag, but this is just one in a pile. Uh, we're going to overrun our budget on benefits payout this quarter. And while it's not my department, I have to assume that the new equipment budget is going to be blown out as well, because uh, according to these reports, the equipment's breaking down on a daily basis. Please mark this for review at corporate. End of log. Okay. It seems very strange to be getting, like, eight HR voice memos. I don't know, it just, like, seems you expect someone to get a written warning about, <laughs> about all these deaths that are occurring. Alright, where's that coming from? Oh, there you are. Didn't even see that gap there. Eh? Fuck off! God damn it. Alright. Alright, swinging around wildly. Okay, I'm assuming at some point I'm gonna end up down there, because there's armor there. Oh, yeah, because this does not look like a room where I'm gonna have a big fight at all, does it? What the fuck? Oh, shit. Now what the fuck are these things? Oh well, they're not that hard to kill. Oh, they do a lot of damage though! Fuck you guys! Right, do I have to kill this? Ah, 
Fell down. Any more for any more? Ugh. Okay, that doesn't open any further. Oh, hang on, wasn't that just over there? I'm sure it was. Okay, so maybe I have to go down to there. That's not a door. Right. Watch there be some kind of fucking demon in here. No. Okay, he's going to come and jump out of me at some point. Okay, well, what was the point of coming up here then? Ooh, a health pack and armor shards. Alright, down we go. Right, back around. Yep, get down, you fool. Over here. Some more shells. Right, okay, so that's the door I couldn't get through. Yep. Alright, you. You faceless fuck. Okay, right. It's all very procedural, this, isn't it? Oh, we're saving. That means something bad's gonna happen. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna turn you into fucking jelly. Oh. Well, this place is going to rack and ruin, my god. Someone get the maintenance teams out here. It's a health and safety nightmare. Okay. Why are you throwing explosive barrels down to me? What is up here? Alright, you. Ah, fuck! Fuck you! I appreciate every single enemy at the minute I'm saying fuck you to, but it's, you know... Kind of saying go to hell wouldn't really apply. If it came from hell. Okay. Alpha labs. That's a chair. Power edge. Back up your files. I don't know why I'm backing up all these files instantly. The don't seem to be coming to me in any form of a download or anything, so... Right. Oh! Okay, this shotgun is really inconsistent. Sometimes I can kill these things in one hit. Sometimes, like that, it takes four hits to kill. Will someone please explain to me why that is the case? Okay, better reload. Okay. And it just made all these rooms kind of look alike. Whoa. Okay, this doesn't look very alike to me. That is some fresh hell right there. Got you. Got you. Fuck off. Fuck off. Yep, that is some freshly born out hell. Okay, up here. I thought there was some kind of monster there. Ah, where do you come from? Oh, hang on. Can I use these computers? Right, okay, okay. Scan PDA. I P Harvey or what's that? B Lipsitz. Okay. Hydrocon generators. Oop. Downloading a video disc. So what's on the video disc? Safer worlds for everyone. 
For centuries, people on Earth have waged war over two things vital to human existence, fuel and water. As part of its ongoing commitment to create safer worlds for everyone, the UAC recently unveiled its development of the Hydrocon. Though still in its prototype stages, the Hydrocon will, in one dramatic move, forever end all shortages of water and fuel. By splitting iron oxide molecules, the Hydrocon produces oxygen and hydrogen cheaply and safely, without the need for large amounts of electricity. The hydrogen is then used for hydrogen fuel, a substance so versatile and clean that it can be used in everything from home appliances to today's most demanding rocket engines. A side benefit of producing this fuel is an endless supply of pure, spring-like water that is more refined than any earthbound spring. We envision a world where technologies such as the Hydrocon can be used to end drought and civil strife in impoverished nations where water or fuel have ever been in short supply. While always at the forefront of scientific research and development, Union Aerospace hopes that the creation of the Hydrocon will continue to make safer worlds for everyone. Alright, so where the hell do I find this PDA though? Calibrate. No, it's calibrated. That's obviously just interactive for the sake of it. There must be somewhere I can go. There's something I can do. Have I missed maybe like a vent or something? It does not look like the place I want to go. Ah, ladder. That's what I missed. Okay. I'm starting to like pay attention to the corners more and look for areas where things might oh. appear. Oh, you startled me. Man, am I ever glad to see you. I thought I was all alone. It's been freaking spooky lately. The hydrogun's blown a few circuits and is unstable. Be careful of that gun. A stray bullet into the glass shields could blow the whole area. I'm gonna try and get this thing stabilized. I'll head to the science office when I have this under control. Okay. Right, wait for that. And go. Right, so I should avoid shooting things. Ah, there we go, ellipsis. Has he got anything to say? No audio logs. Oh, shit. Uh, burning ellipsis. Hey Burn, some of the boys and I head over to Mars City tonight, shift some beers. A siphon hose and the oxygen displacement valve is forming a leak due to the lower temperatures required to boost production in the hydrocon labs. If those were to rupture, it would cause severe instability to the hydrocon systems and could result in a very dangerous situation. It should be replaced. Dr. Anubis. Okay. So it seems that, you know, in the in the face of overwhelming odds, some of the scientists are still very much committed to being scientists. They're doing science. Fuck you, shotgun guy. Ah, uh, fuck's sake, man, die! Christ on a bike, four shots. Yeah, I need. Well, that doesn't sound good at all, does it? Fucking charging shot really hurts when they hit you. I can't wait to get the double barreled shotgun. Okay, let's just get out. <laughs> oh, it's always fun when I miss shots and they end up killing them like that. Right, ooh, health, 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 health. Alright, okay, up here. Oh, finally, I've gotten around to here. Right. Alpha red, restricted access, locked. Right, okay, so I'm gonna have to unlock that. Okay, so I've just seen a soldier chasing a scientist down here. Right, give him. Oh! ongoing commitment to create safer worlds for everyone. Where are you guys coming from? 
guys come through through here? No, shit, it's still off right. Okay, I'm just gonna have a quick jolt back on that health machine. No, not shoot it, I'm gonna use it. Molecules, the hydro Right, so okay, let's reload. Um through here. Oh god, this is not look good. Haha. <laughs> ah. These things move so fucking quickly. Get off me, you bitch. Alright. Health. USC terminal. Ooh, armor. Right, okay, there we go. Lift Alpha 2. Right, okay, there we go. So I'm going to leave this here for now. Ooh, that was a bit of a rough one. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please do make sure you leave a like and subscribe and come back next time for Alpha Lab Sector 2 in Doom 3, the BFG edition. For now, though, thank you for watching and good night.